Rainbow Warrior, hand tied nymph. A San Juan, a hand tied purple rain. Another hand tied nymph, little zebra midge. Another, I don't know what you guys would call that. Got this one. And there we go, called it. There he is. Watch that dude take it. There he is. Got this one. What is cracking you fishing, Jamokes? Once again, it's your boy Eastern PA Fishing here. And once again, we are on another fishing mission back at the delayed Harvest Creek, if you guys can see it there in the background. We have our fly rod all rigged up and ready to go. So I am legal to fish this before opening day, and hopefully we're gonna catch ourselves a whole bunch of stock trout. Last time I was here, we had a pretty great time. I have no idea how many we caught, but it was probably over 10, which is a pretty good haul, especially considering I never really go fly fishing. But we're getting there, we're starting to learn, and we're having a great time doing it. So today I am gonna throw a little dry fly with a drop down to a nymph. I think that's called a drop rig, whatever the heck. Anyway, hopefully the fish are biting top water and hopefully we can get some subsurface too. Should be a good day. Stay tuned. Let's get right to the fish. We made it down to the honey hole. Disturbing the water a little bit. It's all right. These are stock trout. They're kind of stupid. Fishing with some hand tied flies today. Looks like my dry fly is actually floating real well. I'm going to pretty much use that as my strike indicator. It's a little cold, guys. There's a couple little bugs flying around here, but not like the other day. These fish also aren't rising anymore. We might have to change up our rig here. You see these little bugs here? Little stone flies. Gonna have to find something that mimics that. So it's definitely gonna be something that these trout are feeding on. Gonna have to size down our presentation a bit. Re-rigged about everything. What? A freaking nightmare that was. Hopefully we're gonna get something on either a San Juan worm, hand tied, you guys can probably tell. Maybe the camera isn't even focusing in on it, so maybe it doesn't even matter. And we have a hand tied Rainbow Warrior. I don't think there's any reason to use a strike indicator. This is a good hole, man. A lot of the other holes weren't stocked too well. Ah, that was a bite. Wow, wasn't recording. Just re-rigged again. I just had one on there. Threw on a very tiny little hand-tied nymph. All right, first bite of the day was on this tiny hand-tied nymph. Gonna tie something else on, see if we can get him on that. Another hand-tied nymph, hopefully it works. Little brown copper wire hot spot, little rainbow dubbing, even a little rainbow flash in there. Pretty shiny little nymph. Hopefully the trout like it. Oh snap, we got one on here. In other words, a giant snag. Oh snap, that was a bite. I was hoping it was gonna get a little warmer and these fish would get a little more active. It seems like it's actually getting colder today. I'm not gonna spend too much time fishing any particular nymph. We made quite a few casts into this hole. There's tons of trout down there too. I can see them all. Trial and error. That's what fly fishing is all about. Rigged up again. This is a day of uh, bait changes, guys. I don't want to resort to using a squirmy worm. So we tied on a San Juan. Might have to put on a freaking split shot to get this thing down there. I do have a tiny tungsten bead. Man, that thing is light. Ah, I just had a bite. Basically got bit on everything I threw so far. The bites are kind of random. Not like I'm really putting together a great pattern here. Ah, I just had one. Oh gosh, dang it. Man, I keep missing them. Another fly for the day. That is a hand-tied purple rain. I guess this is turning into the hand-tied lure challenge. How many freaking hand-tied lures can we use and not catch a trout? Or hand-tied flies, excuse me. Y'all know what I mean. Jumping out here, freaking mocking me. Man. They do not want the purple rain. It's getting so tired of retying. Whatever I use, they know it's fake. As soon as they see that fly line coming down out there. I was here just a few days ago. I guess this place really got beat to heck during the weekend. That typically happens with stock trout. Have another fly on there. Another nymph. Little zebra midge. Oh, that 
it was a fight. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I suck. I missed that one. Just like with every other fly we've tried today, we've gotten about one bite and nothing else. I was thinking I'm using the wrong thing here. Another very tiny hand-tied nymph. This one's got some weight to it. Hopefully hug that bottom where all those fish seem to be. Oh man, we're certainly going through almost everything I've tied this winter. Don't want to have to resort to using flies that I haven't tied. I'm trying to see if I can get something cooking here with the stuff that I made. It's kind of the whole point of today's adventure. All right, this might be the last thing I try before I switch over to a squirmy worm. Another hand-tied fly. I don't know what you guys would call that, but there it is. Trout like the color pink, so hopefully this is going to be what they want. Didn't really put any weight system in this, so it's going to be a slow sinking wet fly. We have been fishing for way too long, and we haven't caught a darn thing yet. Whole bunch of bites, a whole bunch of different flies. That I tied, but we just couldn't get it done. So we are getting down to about half of my GoPro charge. I'm starting to get a little impatient. I threw on a fly that I did not tie. I don't even know if you would really consider it a fly, but I am gonna now be using a squirmy worm and we're probably about to catch a ton of fish. I don't know how beat this spot got during the weekend, but hopefully something is gonna happen here for us because we've been fishing our heart out and haven't been able to catch a thing. I'm trying to get a big one here today. There's an absolutely massive one out there. Uh, I just had another. Well, at least I'm getting bit finally. Got this one. There we go. First one of the day, we can land him. Ah, oh, man, about time. Put in the work for these fish. Gonna back away from the hole a little bit. I don't wanna spook them all now that I'm finally getting them. Hopefully this is one of many. Dang, dude. Get in the boat. We just caught the first one of the day. I don't know if the release was on camera. Unfortunately, the GoPro bugged out. But we finally got bit on the squirmy worm. Man, I certainly worked for that fish too. I tried just about every fly that I tied this winter. Whole bunch of bites, but no fish. Just couldn't connect with them. So like I said, I put on this squirmy worm. It is not a fly that I tied. Not that I really consider the squirmy worm a fly, but I am probably not gonna show you guys the squirmy worm because I just can't give away all my secrets on this channel. Let's see if we can get some more. Uh, it's gonna be a fish. They're swarming on it. Any second now. And there we go, called it. Number two, if we can land them. Hopefully we can get the land and the release on camera. Okay. Number two. The cool marking under his eye there. Another stocky. Man, so glad we're finally getting bit. There he is. That's a decent one. Yeah, dude. Freaking bending this rod, that's for sure. Get on up here. Sorry for the side lands. No neck, guys. And there's a nice one. Oh, snap. Well, he's off. Once again, don't know if I got a good view of that dude. Got him. He's 
decent too. They're all fighting real well. There is another. Oh, watch that dude take it. That was sick. Oh, and he spit it. Well, what a challenging freaking day it has been, I was just about to say. Holy smokes, we got one on there. I kind of didn't even realize that. And it looks like he smoked it too. Let's get him on up here. He's decent. There we go. Man, these fish are so spunky. There he goes. <laughs> Those rainbow trouts, man, I tell you, freaking hardest freshwater fish to handle. Even though they don't have any spikes on their fins. Let's get back out there, get another. There he is, got this one. Man, he's a little oddball. Slippery little male, you can tell from the kipe on his lip. There you go. See you, homie. I think that is going to wrap it up for today's video. We just have a little bit of GoPro charge left. Anyway, it was a great day of stock trout fishing out here. I tried a bunch of my hand-tied flies, and not a single one of them worked. I got a few bites here and there, but I just wasn't connecting with the fish. So I switched over to a squirmy worm that I did not tie, and I will not tell you where I got it or the name brand of it because I just can't give away all my secrets on this channel. Anyway, I hope you guys all liked the content. If at any point in time you did, please scroll down below, hit that thumbs up button, also subscribe if you haven't already. Easter PA Fishing here, you know what it is by now. Till next time, guys, stay safe, stay tuned, and always stay fishy.